The next thing I want to work on is this center. So it, it kind of a, appears. And this is going to be an easier mask. I want that center to uh, uh, to mask in right when the stem, this top of the stem is done. So right when that's fully green, that's when I want this circle to come in. So I'm going to grab that keyframe and just move it to that that part of the animation. So on mine, it looks like it's a frame 29. Yours might be a different different keyframe. So no circle until frame 29 on mine. Okay, I want to use a mask again, and I'm just going to use a circle again. I'm just going to copy and paste, make a new layer, center mask, <clears throat> make a new keyframe right above that F6, and then paste that above. And I recommend once again changing the color of that so we can tell the difference between the mask and the thing it's masking. Okay, I want this to be a symbol. I want to animate this with a with a motion tween. So, following the rules of animation, this needs to be a symbol. A fate. Call this mask center. And the reg registration points in the center, and I want this to grow out from the center. So, that's good. Want this animation to take about six frames, so frame 35. Go over one. I'll press F6, and then I'm going to put a motion tween here. So create motion tween, and then I want this to to be small to big. So I'm going to scale this down from the center, and then I'm going to go to frame 35, and then make this bigger than. Than that. All right, so let's let's create the mask. Double click the center mask. Choose mask, and then drag that diagonally under the icon. If you lock them both, you should be able to see the mask. So it's coming in pretty nice. Comes in, good. All right, mine's a little. I wanted mine a little springy, so I'm gonna use an ease to do that. Let's click in the tween, go up to motion editor, scroll down to eases. I'm going to choose spring. And then I'm going to change this number here down to just one. All right, let's go back up to, um, see I transformed that. So I'm going to go to scale X and scale Y, change that to spring. And the animation should be kind of springy back and forth. Kind of popped in. Very nice. All right, finishing up here, um, you'll want to create the petals. And uh, that's going to be my challenge to you is to create this petal animation. <clears throat> Notice that it's stair stepped. And this is where having a, uh, I don't know, a good problem solving skills comes in handy um, and having a good strong understanding of what a symbol is and how can you utilize it most efficiently. Um, each petal is essentially doing the same animation. So why not think about creating a symbol of one petal and then animating that masking in and then duplicating that uh, however many petals there are. So if you can figure that out, that'll save you a, a ton of time. And your flowers in a symbol itself, you can reuse that symbol from the library. Just copy and paste. And now that now you've got multiple. Any symbol can you can change the tint of it. So under properties, we can go under to color effect tint, change the color. And got ourselves a nice little uh, little animation. All right, good luck. Happy masking. <laughs>